Any questions? Aren't Christians told to look towards Jesus? Louder, louder. It is a good question. What was the question for? So the brother asked, aren't Christians called to look towards Jesus? Yes, is the short answer. However, when we are called to imitate Christ, our faith works differently from Islam as I've described. Christians are called to emulate the character of Christ. We're not to emulate his every actions and doings. But if, one second, I'm answering his question. But if you look at Islam, they even tell you how to hold your penis when you're taking a piss. Because apparently, that's how Muhammad held his penis. Now, why on earth Muhammad decided that it was important to tell you how to hold your penis when you go to the toilet and how that makes you into a better man, I, for the life of me, have no idea. But Christians are called to emulate the character of Christ. And Christ's character was one of love, one of hope, one of faith, and all the virtues that I've spoken about. I hope that answers your question. So, what does, um, what does Christ look like? We don't know. Next question. <laughs> are Catholics Christian? Catholics are Christian. Next question. Yeah. Where does he live? Hang on, where does, where does he live? I know I'm a bit of a hippie. But yeah, but I like where we can all just start the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians and even the pagans, maybe. We can all get on and it's all good. You won't like the pagans. So, <laughs> one second. I'm dealing with his question. Don't be rude. So, in terms of the brother's question, he's asking me to prophesy the future. Do I think there will be a time when everyone just gets along? Well, the 1400 years of history would seem to suggest no. Okay, all right, now. Because, because there has never ever been a time in the church's experience, my community's experience, of living <coughs> under Islamic rule where we have not been persecuted. And if you don't believe me, go and speak to Pakistani Christians. Go and speak to Coptic Christians. Go and speak to Nigerian Christians. Go and speak to the Christians in Serbia, Kosovo. Go and speak to the Christians of Cyprus. Go and speak to the Christians of Lebanon. Go and speak to the Christians of Syria. The media has lied to you. The media has lied. And if you study church history, you will see the lie. Next question. No, you asked one. Wait for someone else. Where does he live? In Where did he live? No, where does Christ live? Now, yeah. in heaven. Next question. <laughs> what does heaven, what does heaven, heaven, what does heaven look like? 400 years have told us that uh, we can't all just get on. But 400 years have also told us that France, Britain and Germany, what well, I Holy remember at that time, have always been enemies and we're always fighting. Yep. Now we're all good more or less because of the EU, hit or miss. I think we're all good, we've achieved peace in Europe. I don't think anyone would have ever predicted that. Bob, Bob. What did Christ say? He said, I have not come to bring peace but a sword, to turn son against father and daughter against mother. Because Christ will be the cause of division. And Christ promised us that the world will always persecute the church. And 2,000 years of experience shows us that that is true. Christ and the Christian faith has always been persecuted. Conflict is simply a matter of fact. And the church can either deal with that fact or hide from it. You can either deal with that reality or live in denial. The brother spoke about the EU bringing peace to Europe. But that doesn't constitute peace. It doesn't constitute peace. There was fighting in Yugoslavia. There was fighting, there's fighting now in the Ukraine. There's been fighting. Human nature will always find something to fight about. And when the European nations were not fighting one another, they were bombing others. In all the years that we have had peace in Europe, European powers have been fighting abroad. There has never been peace. And it is a lie. It is a utopian myth.
to think that we will ever have peace. So choose a side. Do you not think we live in a more peaceful time than it was, let's say, 200 years ago? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think progression is, that's why we've got so much overpopulation, not enough people dying. But no, that's not that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> not enough people dying. Just kidding, I didn't mean that. <laughs> not enough people dying. No, but that's because we've got so much peace in the world. It's no, crazy. bro. The fact is, Western civilization is, as we speak, dying out. Yep. It's dying out because liberal pluralism does not work. Yep. Liberal secularism does not work. If your philosophy, if your political ideology leads to the actual death of your civilization, you can tick it off as a failure because it is the West is dying go and look at the demographics the West doesn't work you we have decided that we want wealth and comfort at an individual level than we more than we want a civilization and that is why Western liberalism doesn't work, but we can do better. Just look before the Enlightenment. We had a life-giving civilization, a life-giving civilization that elevated the spirit of man, built upon a Christian narrative. And that is what we are called to return to. Not with shame, not with embarrassment, but with the pride of a people who are reclaiming their inheritance, who are reclaiming their culture, who are reclaiming their identity and saying that as a people, we have a culture too. And that is rooted in our Christian faith. Can't even, they can't even raise enough money to change the roof at the church now because not enough people go to the church. So allow me to address that point. The brother Mert raised a number of points and I'd like to address them all. Let's just firstly deal with the myth that Christianity is a global faith that's dying out. If you go and look at Pew Research, who are a group of academics who look into questions of religiosity, they have done a study of the global trends of many religions and they have established that the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam and it is growing because of birth rates. The second fastest growing religion is Christianity and it is growing because of birth rates. No, it's, called, it's birth rates, bro. Now, in terms of Western Christianity and why it is dying out, I have given you facts, so go and research them, don't mumble about it. So, in terms of Western Christianity, the reason why it is dying is because Western Christians have been humbled by the Enlightenment, they have become the pussies, the doormats, the wimps, the limp-wristed, effeminized people of Europe. And no one, no one can take that community seriously until Christians rediscover our strength, our strength of identity, founded upon the history of the church, confident in Christian values and the culture that that produces, confident and able to defend our beliefs and our community from those that would oppress it, suppress it or dismiss it. No one will take us seriously. When we rediscover a muscular faith which our ancestors took for granted, then the church will rise again. 
I've just explained it. See my previous answer. I'd, well, I'm not going to repeat it for you. Yes. Um, we're all over here right now. And many people are showing their thoughts on different religions. From what I've seen already, a lot of people are, are reverting into Islam rather than just saying being born. Of course, it's a small factor. It's a factor, but people are also reverting to Islam. How many people right now are reverting to Christianity? So let me let me answer that question. Let me answer that question. In the fellowship that I go to, we have two converts from Islam. When I first got involved in witnessing to Muslims, yeah, a long time ago, if you met an ex-Muslim, it had a wow factor about it. It was like, whoa, you're an ex-Muslim? It was unusual. Now, nearly every fellowship that I go to has at least one or even two ex-Muslims, right? You and I both know that there are social, economic and political consequences to converting to Islam. Right, he, he isn't aware. So what I would encourage you to do, bro, is go and look up the case of Nisa Hussein. Nisa Hussein was a British Pakistani Muslim who became a Christian. And in Britain, in the United Kingdom, there was an attempt to Northern kill Ireland? him that came out of Christophobes in the Muslim it's community. Strange, strange, One second, I, I, right I'm now. going to return to it because you're saying you're not aware of the consequences. No, that's not, that's not the no, no, no. You, you're question. uncomfortable by the narrative that's being cast here, but you're going to have to listen. So, the fact of the matter is that this man endured years of persecution by his Muslim neighbors. And it's all documented. And that culminated with an attempt to kill him. It was caught on camera. They tried to beat him to death with a crowbar and a baseball bat. That's what happened to him. The British government washed their hands. The church leadership washed their hands because it was too politically sensitive to call a spade a spade. Now, back to your question. There are Muslims becoming Christians. I know them. I meet them. So, when we talk about what you can see, given the fact that converting away from Islam could cost you your life, your job, your family, your community, is it any wonder that it is not public? You asked about what you could see. I've addressed that point. Somebody asked you a question, why is love raising, okay? And you said it's because it's due to birth rates. Did he not say that? And then you it's said that no one, on, 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 you don't see people speak. come back. No, you interrupted me. I didn't talk to you. You did. You interrupted me. You finished. Right. But, but let's be clear. You, when I gave my answer, you did interrupt me. And then you did say that it was about what you can see here in the park. We don't see people converting. That was the point that I was addressing. Okay. Make your next point. Thank you. In this park today right now, there are people right now, I've seen, okay, people reverting to Islam. And we I'm know, around. I'm we know here, people are becoming Christian. This is my first time here, my first time here. I'm just here to learn things, right? I've not once seen anybody becoming a Christian. We know people Maybe. become Christian. My, my man, I don't know personally anybody, no. I know personally people have become I'm not saying there isn't, I'm not saying there isn't, no. We're talking about right now, so the, what birth, the participation, people increasing to Islam. Yeah. And what we see is higher more Muslims that are reverted to Islam. It's not, yeah, I'm not, I'm it's not just birth rates. It's not just birth rates. So let's deal with that do point. Not, do not let's deal with that point. Let's deal with that point. The brother's right. It is a contributing factor, the process of conversion. Yeah? That's not deniable. I'm not going to deny it. It's high and fact, certainly, it's very, very high No, it's birth fact. rates. It is honestly birth rates. But, and it's also immigration as well. But there are converts, there are converts, if they're Muslim and they come here, they change their demographics. If there are, there are converts, not denying that. But the idea that Muslims aren't leaving Islam is a myth, right? It is a myth. We know, for example, that there are, there are Christians inside Saudi Arabia who have to keep their faith secret. Because if they become public about leaving Islam and becoming Christians, they will be killed. Do you know that Jesus is being worshipped inside Mecca? 
Do you know that Jesus is being worshipped inside Medina? It is, are you saying it's not a possibility? No, no, I'm aware of it. It's not a possibility. Anything's a possibility. Anything's a possibility. I'm telling you, bro, it's true. Because Arab Christians, Saudi Arab Christians, they don't go to church in Saudi Arabia because it's illegal. So what they do is they go on holiday to where they're not known by anyone and go to a church there. And we know that because we meet them. We know that because we support them. Yeah. No, I've talked about I've talked about conversion. And let's be clear, in a world in which the political class are desperately trying to silence legitimate criticism of Islam and creating a culture in which the only thing you can say about Islam is something positive, and if you criticize Islam, People have been indoctrinated by the liberal secular state to think that you're an Islamophobe. Of course, like this brother was doing behind the camera whilst I was talking. Yeah, he was doing it. I was criticizing Islam and he was calling me an Islamophobe. Yeah. Now, in that kind of environment, of course, many people who are unthinking, unscholarly, uneducated, who don't he's, know he's, church he's history, ignorant, ignorant that fact about will be opinion. open to the uh, invitation to Islam and not have the intellectual faculties to dismiss Islam. But in a world where Christians, where Christians are mocked on TV, where we are dismissed, where our faith is accused of hate speech, where we are addressed as bigots. Of course, in that environment, it takes more in the human heart to become Christian than it becomes Muslim. I'll give you an example. In my own work life, I fast for Lent. When I fast for Lent, in previous employment, I've had work colleagues. Notice how the Muslim is working the crowd. Listen to what I'm saying, not to the lies of the Dawati. No, in terms of what happened to me, I fasted. I fasted. God, bro, if you want to talk to him, can you go somewhere else? Yeah, listen to me, talk to him. So, when I fasted during Lent, my work colleagues came to me and said to me, why are you doing that? It's not good for you. It's bad for you. Why are you fasting? That's how, that, okay, let's debate this guy. Let's debate this guy. Let's debate this guy. Let's debate this guy. Let's debate this, guy. Let's debate this guy wants to heckle me. But every land is involved. The history of Christianity and the church. So, so, every time I'm talking, he comes and heckles me. Whenever I offer to debate him on anything, he runs away. No, no. I don't want to debate what you guys like this. I My fasted is, during Lent. Go open the book. Okay, I'm going to walk open away from this guy. If you want open to listen to him, stay here. If you history. want to listen open to me, join me over open here. It doesn't need to be on film. So, what happened with me? I'll just let, I'll let people come if they want to come. Yeah. Okay. So what happened to me was that when I fasted during Lent, I was told by my work colleagues, why are you fasting in Lent? That's bad for you. In the very same company, with the very same people, when Ramadan came along and the Muslims were fasting, everyone was clapping them. Now, why is that telling you? Why is that telling you? It's telling you that we live in a culture where Christophobia is acceptable and where Islamophilia is obligational. We live in a culture where people will condemn the very same act 
if a Christian does it, but applaud it if a Muslim does it. Now, where did they get that mindset from? They got it from the media. They got it from the media that mocks and attacks the Christian faith and applauds Islam every time there's a terrorist attack. This brother had his hand up first. This brother had his hand up first. Sorry, can I say, I, I used to work for the media, I worked for five papers. They don't do that. The media, the mass media, actually are much more anti-Muslim than they are anti-Christian. Well, listen, I worked for... Which I'll paper you talking about? Okay, fair facts. enough. Okay. Let me, let me, right, okay. Let's, let's do facts. Let's do facts. Okay. Let's do facts. Right. right. Okay. One, let's do facts. Okay, fact one. When the Jerry Springer opera was being broadcast on the BBC, yeah. what did the BBC do when all those Christians protested? I, 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 I do you know? You. No, I don't. Shall I tell you what they did? Yeah, don't you know. They broadcasted the Jerry Springer opera. In the same year, the very same year, in Denmark, a magazine produced mocking and derogatory comments against Mohammed. What did the BBC do? They refused to show the images because they said it would be offensive. So it was okay to mock Jesus Christ, but it wasn't okay to mock Muhammad. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the mass market that I know. I'm talking about, first of all... Is the BBC the, mass, the, mass media? Yes, but what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the tabloids. I'm talking about the, the mirror. I'm talking about the express. I'm talking about the... Uh, Sun, I talk about all the mass market papers. They're much more anti-Muslim, infinitely more mass anti Muslim than about the uh, Christians. I, I would agree with you. I, the, the, I would agree with you. Those are that you're the talking tabloids. About, I agree with. I'm not. There's no more debate. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. The tabloids. The tabloids are more critical of Islam than the broadsheets. And I think, like, so for example, the Guardian, the Guardian, regularly runs articles that are anti the Catholic Church yes. all the time. But in all the time that I've read The Guardian, I've never once read The Guardian put a criticism against Islam. Yeah, Your friends can be back. yeah never. Shall I make it run again? No, because now we're going to debate this guy. No, let's just... Let's, let, let me oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, who's running? Who's running? Let's debate my heckler. Let's debate my heckler. Bob, I don't like you. Let's debate my heckler. Let's debate my heckler. Let's debate my heckler. Let's debate my heckler. Let's so let me debate you. I'm a heckler. Are you made in the image of God? I'm a heckler. Are you made in the image of God? Why are you running away? I'm a heckler. Why are you running away? I'm a heckler. Yeah, you're not just a heckler though. I'm a heckler. You're also a harasser. Christian! This is a guy. Christian! This is a guy. This guy this lying guy to you. The harassed. The Christian lying girls in the park is enough. He verbally harassed no. Christian girls in the park. This is Liar. what this man did. Liar. Bring this it. is who's talking. Bring your proof. This is who, go and speak to Bring your proof. Go speak to Lizzie. Go hey. speak to Godwin. Well done. Go speak to Daniel. Well done. They are my witnesses. Well done. This guy harassed Liar. Liar. Christian See? girls in the park. When he doesn't get anything, mm. that's what he does. He dismantles he doesn't people's want to debate. No. People's he comes respect. and heckles. The he honor. doesn't want to debate. He doesn't have and any words. He doesn't want to debate with me. He doesn't want to debate with me. Look at his honesty. Hey, Definitely not you. Hey, hey, so, hey, did what? you call the police? Christian! They don't do anything. All right, you didn't In call this bar, you didn't call the police. They don't do anything. So. Yeah, it is. Christian! No, no, it's all right. Let him try. Okay. Let him try. Like, I, I Christian! Go read Uncle, the Bible! You know, I know it was only a brief discussion. Okay. Okay. Christian! No, no, go read no, the Bible! Bro, go read we're, we're going to go away. Go we're going to go away and speak to this polite gentleman rather than this rude member of the Dawah team. I claim that. Can he claim oh, that? Can you can't even debate. Oh, can you take can't Christian? even debate. Him. debate. No, I'm taking the camera. You want to debate? Debate. Debate. If you want to debate, debate is here. No, we don't want to debate, Lamy. No, we don't want to debate, Lamy. Why not? I'll debate you. No, why do you want to debate? No, it's not. Go read. Is he recording? I'm here to debate. Do you want to debate? I'm here I'm to debate with this man. Because you're a liar. Nobody wants to debate. He knows you're exposed. Because you're exposed. You're exposed. I don't want to debate. Jesus was a man, a prophet, a messiah. You see? 
Yeah. He wants to be buried. Everyone. No, I, I'll debate any Muslim in the park, but I won't debate five this the, individual. Five this individual, I don't want to debate. Because you're not exposed to that. No, because you want to come to life. We have this you argument to come to every week. You come here yeah, every week. Let's go. Every week. So I'm going to go for a break and have a drink. Have a good day. Let's go have a drink. Don't go. I tell the Muslim they don't want to debate. Let's go have a drink. Ask to debate with me. Come and debate. I'm here all day to debate because everyone, everyone but you. You know what it's No, you're just you a dishonest man. You have no honor. You have no honor. He's going to pay you one more money. One five hundred. You want money? You, know, you, you want money? You are a liar. Yeah, you are a liar. Go, 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 go. You are a liar. Go. You are, you are telling me you're going to buy from me. Wait.